Hello and thank you for joining us here in sunny Campbelltown. The weather is on our side today and we are going to be looking around Glen Gyle Distillery. This is an amazing distillery with huge amounts of history, but they're not producing Glen Gyle spirit. They're actually producing Kilkerran single malt. Really, really exciting stuff. I can't wait to get stuck in and show you what's to come. Let's go. And Gyle Distillery was founded in 1873 uh, by William Mitchell. Now, uh, William was the son of uh, Archibald Mitchell, one of the founding partners here. Uh, and by the middle of the, the 1800s, John and Archibald at Springbank had long since retired and had left the distillery to their, their kids, uh, William and John Jr. Uh, and the two brothers, they uh, didn't really get on very well. Okay? They fought as only families can fight. Right. And after one particularly nasty argument, uh, allegedly over a sheep. Uh, over a sheep? Yeah, they, they were both still farmers at this point, so there's nothing uh, sinister about it. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> uh, William said to his brother, he goes, look, I can't work with you. I'm off to seek my fortune elsewhere. He left Springbank, stormed around the corner, and built his own distillery next door. Fantastic, okay. So one thing I'm interested about, Kilkerran as a brand, uh -huh. it was never a distillery in its own right, or was it? Uh, it may have been way, way back in the day. Right. Maybe there, one of the illegal stills or something. Quite possibly. Right, yeah. yeah. The reason the distillery is Glen Gyle is because physically that's where it sits. That's yes. Glen Gyle Road there. We are the distillery in Glen Gyle, so it's Glen Gyle Distillery. But obviously Glen Scotia owns the brand rights. Exactly right. right so right. Uh, originally the whiskey coming out of here was Glen Gyle. When the distillery was closed to make a bit of extra cash, the bottling rights were sold on. Uh, so when we bought the distillery back, we obviously tried to buy the rights back as well. There are too many zeros in the figure. Yep. So we had to come up with a new name uh, for our whiskey. And we settled upon the old Gaelic name for this side of the loch, which is Kinloch Kilkieran, which is a bit of a mouthful. Okay. And it loosely translates to St. Kieran's Church at the end of the loch. So we've shortened it a little bit, uh, taking the kill for St. over Church and Kieran for Kieran's name to give you Kilkerran. Right. And that's the whiskey we have here. That's lovely. Okay. Really yeah. cool. So our barley is brought across here, as you say, on the back of a tractor trailer from Springbank. Uh, it's fed in through a conveyor belt into our storage bins. Uh, now, our two storage bins here can hold about uh, 23 tonnes of barley apiece. And if necessary, we can keep it here for a couple of months. But because our production run is uh, so short, we're basically just going to use this for our bulk storage. Right. Uh, so when we're ready to begin, the guys will come in here. They'll open up the valves at the bottom. We're gonna drop the barley down into the conveyor. It gets pushed along here, and it gets pushed up, across, and into our mill. Uh, now the mill here is a bobby mill. It's second hand. Uh, we acquired this from the Craig Ellicke distillery up in the Highlands. Uh, in the early 2000s, Craig Ellicke was bought over by the Bacardi Group. And as is usual, when the big multinationals come in, they want to modernize and expand. And they had this old surplus mill, which they very kindly gifted to us. This now leaves our spent grist in the bottom of the tank. We've taken all the sugar to goodness out of here. There's not an awful lot left that we can do with it. This is what we call draft. Uh, so to get rid of the draft, basically we're going to set these arms in motion once again without any liquid being in here. And if you notice down at the bottom, there's that little manhole, that's uh, a vacuum pump. Okay. So as the arms are turning, it's going to force that draft over that hole. The vacuum pump sucks the draft out and it's dropped into a little hopper outside and it's collected periodically by our local farmers and they'll take this away and use it to feed their sheeping cows. But this now leaves us with about 24, 25,000 liters of our sugary solution. And here's where we're gonna add our third and our final ingredient. We're gonna start adding yeast into the, here. We're gonna get these sugars fermenting. We're finally gonna create some alcohol. And for that, we're over to our washbacks. So this is where the washbacks here at Glengyle different from the washbacks at Springbank. At Springbank, the washbacks are in their own room. So we treat them kind of like teenagers. It's your mess, you can live with it. <laughs> but here we're a little bit more trendy and open plan, so we can't allow that foam to overflow. So we have our skimmers here, these little blue boxes on the top. If we open this up, you should be able to see, we've got basically what looks like a helicopter blade there. Which keeps it all at That's a level. It's gonna spin around, and as that foam rises up, it basically cuts the head off of it, prevents it from overflowing. The 
we've got the same fermentation time, and now we've pretty much got the same stills. So what's happening? So the difference has come. Distillation here at Glengyle is double distillation, okay, as opposed to Spring Max two and a half. Right. Both of the stills here are uh, steam fired, so you're not getting that direct fire from the, the wash still at Springbank. Maturation, Springbank 10 years for the standard, Kilcarran 12 years for the standard. In bourbon and sherry, Springbank's usually 60-40 bourbon sherry split. Here at Glengyle it's 70-30. Okay. But so you get more of those lighter, sweeter bourbon notes. Uh, so that's the little differences. The main difference between the two uh, spirits comes from the line arm. The horizontal arm at the top of the still that goes across to the condensers. Oh, this one's a bit tilted up. Exactly right. Here at Glengyle, the line arm is angled up by about seven degrees, so you get more reflux. As the alcoholic spirits rise up, the lighter, sweeter spirits quite happily skip across to the condenser and are collected. The heavier, oilier spirits struggle to get to the, stop, the top. They look over and see they've got more climbing to do and just go, not doing that, and fall back into the stills. Right. Over at Springbank, the, st the line arm is angled down by seven degrees, so you've got a 14 degree difference there. Right. Again, the lighter, sweeter vapors quite happily get across to the condensers. The heavier vapors again climb to the top. They can see that they can just slide down into the condensers now, so you end up with a heavier, oilier spirit uh, at Springbank. I tend to think of uh, Kilcarran whiskey as like an everyman. It suits all occasions, right. whereas Springbank's a bit more of a winter warmer. So, in the great tradition, here's one I prepared earlier. I can't believe you made this this morning for us. Thank you so much. We've got our pearly, especially. Well, that's it. I mean, the whole thing is actually a fraud. We just boil up some water and pour in the powder, and three minutes later, you've got whiskey. <laughs> Thanks very much, Craig. Drop in there. So, this has been taken down to 63.5, uh, which is our standard uh, cask strength, uh, where we'll put it into the casks. As it comes off the still, about 70 odd percent. It's far too strong to go into the casks, it will evaporate too quickly. So we dilute it using water to 63.5, which is what we believe to be the optimum strength to start your maturation. So we are in Kilkerran, cracking away on the tour here with Craig, and it is absolutely amazing. A very different sort of setup to Springbank. They've kind of got everything in one place, very accessible, very easy. But the amazing thing to me is how different these spirits are, given the fact that they are largely produced in a very similar way. They've got a similar fermentation times. Uh, they're fermented both in large, stills similar sizes, very similar shapes. The key difference comes with the line arm. Here at Kilcarran, we've got a line arm that's tilted at seven degrees upwards, whereas at Springbank, it's seven degrees down. That 14 degree different really is producing two entirely different spirits, even though everything from the way they're made, the barley that they use is all exactly the same. So the idea that any two whiskies are exactly the same is ludicrous, because even though they're made in a very similar way, 14 degrees really produces something very special here at Kilkerra. Come on, follow on, we've got lots more. But the first thing we do when we get our barrels in here is we're going to roll them onto that big metal square there. That is a scale. We're going to weigh the barrel empty. We're then going to roll the barrel up to the filling stand here, position it underneath, turn the tap on, fill the cask till it's full. A little square of Hessian cloth goes over the hole and then we hammer the bung home, sealing it nice and tightly. We then roll the cask back onto the scales and weigh it a second time. Uh, but in here, we're going to mature our Kilcarran spirit. Uh, as I say, for a minimum of, of 12 years, for the most part, for our standard casks. Uh, I'm sure you know, whiskey matures by evaporation. So we are here in warehouse number 15 at the end of the Glengyle Distillery Tour. And I have to say, this is the sort of place you want to be. The smell hits you as soon as you walk in the door you get that real Campbelltown funk just hitting your nose. I oh, feel at home. Uh, we've got lots and lots to look forward to this afternoon. We're gonna pop into the bar, have a couple of drams of Kilcarran now with Craig and uh, see what they've been uh, putting out, see what all the fuss is about now that we've seen how they make it. Now we get to enjoy some. And then this afternoon, we have got a Springman warehouse tasting and a blending session. So lots to look forward to.